Welcome. In this lecture, we're actually going to go up a dimension, and we're going to look at what happens, uh, what can happen in R3, again, as a graph of a function. So here's an, an example in R3. And here, what we're kind of looking at is our function can have, so in R3, our function can have two inputs. So our function can have two inputs. For example, we could look at a circumstance where we had f of x, y, so we have f of, and now you have two inputs here, so we have an input x and an input y, so f of x, y is going to equal, and maybe we want it to be x squared plus y squared, so x squared plus y squared. Okay, so the graph of this, now we would have, we're going to have a, a third coordinate axis, but let's just kind of look at it like this. We have so x, and we have y. Um, and then we'll add this axis here. So we're going to kind of have this axis here. So this now is our z-axis. And this graph of this particular function is going to go, it's going to go up like a bull. So it's going to look like a parabola, but then it's actually going to, it's going to have a bull shape. Okay, so this is going to be my graph of, so now we have z equals x squared plus y squared, right? Or another way to think of this is that f of x, y is going to equal, on this graph, it's going to be x squared plus y squared. Okay, so... What we have going on here is that this bowl, so this bowl is all the points, so this is all the points X, Y, Z, or Z if you're in Canada or some other countries. So we have X y and z that are going to satisfy the relationship, so satisfying the relationship satisfying the relationship where we're going to have that um, x squared plus y squared, so x squared plus y squared is going to equal z. So we have x squared plus y squared equals z, i.e. that z is actually the function output, so z is the f output when this point x, y is inputted.
Okay, so in this circumstance, now we have the graph of a function where there are two inputs and the, the third coordinate or the output is, the third coordinate is going to be the output. So your z coordinate is actually going to come from the function when you input your x and your y coordinate. Okay, so hope that made some sense and I will see you in the next lecture.